Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slack Agenda cover video. I am your robot building host for today, Mad Dog. I'm bringing you Robocraft, a build episode. Don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, it makes such a lovely sound. Say goodbye to that like button, not literally of course. And please, please, share the content, help us expand the Slackers universe. How's it going guys? Mad Dog here with another Joy of Robo Building episode. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. With that new uh, agility update that they did, I saw a, another YouTuber uh, do a really cool uh, design that I really liked, and I wanted to do my own variation of that. And with the new physics update and me not being so good at flyers, uh, it actually took me two days to get this build right, so uh, yeah, there was a lot of trial and error till I finally got it to work. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. Alrighty, and uh, we're calling this uh, this beauty uh, Scorpion Spider Bat. Yeah, it kind of made me giggle when I was, finally got this thing built and looked at it. It reminded me of that episode of uh, South Park with uh, Matt man bear pig so that's what we're gonna call this one <laughs> alrighty uh, go down the list of things we need first off we're gonna be using nothing but light cubes and uh, some various uh, struts uh, our rods I mean yeah we don't we don't need, need struts in this build uh, for movement we will be using the insect uh, spider legs We'll also be using the T4 bat wing and the T4 bat rudder, as lo along with various different sizes of thrusters. Uh, for weapons, we will be using the T4 rail guns. And of the special category, we're going to have a energy module on there, and we're also going to have a disc module on there. And then we're going to be u using various uh, cosmetic parts. Actually, I think we're only going to be using the spike daggers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First off, let me select the correct cube because I started this recording and realized uh, part of the way through that I did everything in medium cubes, which will not work because I've done a test already on that. So, let's uh, start off by getting a 11 across and a friendly reminder. Don't forget, uh, Miramo is your best friend. So we got 5, 7, 9, 11. So that's 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or, that's 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Yeah, okay. So that's 1, 2. Let's get close to this so that way we can. 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So we got seventeen long. There we go. And we'll just double check that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. All right. Now I will need to look at my picture for the rest of this. So apologies, but you got to be very precise with this. Okay. So we're going to and four. So we got to get rid of you, you, and you, and you. That right? Maybe we have to go in one more. Actually, yeah. Do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. That works. Alright. There we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to need to go. Sorry, I have pictures of when I was building this thing to help me. 
One, two, three, four triangle pieces. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then three across. And then two in. There we go. Yeah, it's the only bad thing about uh, spamming that button. Alright, got our general shape. Let's go ahead and get that second layer ready. Uh, from the front, it should be one, two, three, right? One, two, three. Yep, we got it correct. Alright. Sorry guys, don't mean to make you uh, are sick over here, or robot sick, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, just need to go through and make these three thick. And then we'll go around the edge and do the uh, inclines in a second. Alright. Looking nice. Let's just do this bottom layer. I don't know why I did that, but habit of mine, I like to work on one layer at a time. So that way I make sure I get everything exactly the way I like it. There we go. So yeah, there's another bay that has the complete model in it so I'm just recreating this for you guys so that way you can go through the process with me at least this is gonna be a shortened time than what it took me to figure it out <laughs> by the way guys uh, if you didn't catch my stream yesterday uh, I went ahead and said in the stream that uh, I got a new mouse because uh, my other mouse broke the wheel on it was not working anymore so when I would go to uh, scroll up or down it would do the opposite motion sometimes so it was counterproductive so yeah we had to uh, fix that alright so let's not make that mistake and get these light cubes on there Oh, actually, I have to leave those off. That's an old picture. I forgot. I need the five space. All right. There's only three here, but it still works. All right. There we go. I like it. All righty. Now it's time to raise this bad boy in the air. Now we're going to just put it really high till we get... Uh, all the uh, moving parts on it. So <coughs> let us go ahead and get those spider legs on here. Let me get the proper picture so I put those in the right place. Okay. So we're going to put some. No, it's at the bottom. Whoops, sorry. Already doing this wrong. There we go. Middle here. And bam, there we go. Got our, our spacing correct. Sorry about that, guys. You guys had a very delicious lunch. Uh, back on my keto diet, so <laughs> I've been trying to stick to it. Okay. So now, we need to put only one of these rails on to help us with the spacing for up here. Uh, let's see. Now we need to figure out where we can put this tail. Hence why it was called what it is called. <laughs> Alright. Now we need to make sure we can go three high with that. 
So let's switch over to the cubes. And bam, bam, bam. So that'd be one more layer. All right. All right. That there. All right. And then it immediately goes back up. So we need to put more like cubes here. Let's see here. Let's to get this on there so that way I can tell where I'm at in the build. Okay. And that comes out one. Alright. Does it come out too? I cannot tell from there. Oh, that's the old picture. There we go. That's a one, two. Okay, yeah, so it's one block out and then. So then, did I do that? No, uh, I did it like this. That's that's what I did. Okay. Sorry, guys. Just had to retrace my thoughts. I didn't take a certain angle of a picture I should have. There we go. Alrighty. Now, we'll go ahead and just put that there. Done. And now we need to make sure that this is thick enough. So, okay, so we start going up from there. So, yeah, uh, like I was saying, uh, I got a new mouse because my wheel, mouse wheel broke, so it's a Razor mouse. So, it's the. Uh, Let's see. The Razor Trinity. So, there you go, guys. Check that out. So, yeah, that matches up nicely with my computer. I even have it color coordinated with my computer that has the nice light blue light. So, you see kind of a blue tinge from this direction over here. This direction. That's uh, my computer and my mouse. So, yeah. All right. Does not help me for that. Okay. Oh, we can reverse it from here. Okay. So it looks like one, two, three, and then I start going down. Okay. Let's go ahead and reproduce that. Bam, bam. Be bam, bam again. right here is where it ends. <coughs> Three. Let's see. One, 
two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, and then it goes over one. Oh, that's when it starts coming out. Okay. So now this picture should help. I thought it would. Did I not take a direct? Oh, there I did. Okay, so I came off of up here. Sorry, guys. Like I said, got to be very precise with this one. I also came out pretty far in this. Hmm. I thought I took an above picture of this. Yeah. So. I need to be able to do three triangle designs. So. Doing that. I'm actually not sure how I did this though. <laughs> I gotta, let's just get the light cubes on here. Because regardless we have to do that to get the design looking correct. I suppose I could do the other things and then build it around because then yeah that'll make more sense to me once I get everything in place all right let's just do that sorry guys I'm like all over the place because this was a very very complicated design so let's go and get our movement on here that's there we go and then one in the center over here go. Oh, that's on backwards. There we go. Okay, and now we need the brothers. Since we're right here. There we go. Looking good. Yep, and one below. Awesome. The rusters on here. I need four up here. Wait, what? What? Why isn't this working now? I don't know. Is everything off by one? I don't know why this isn't fitting now. I thought it was a T4. Yeah, that's a symbol for it. Hmm. Interesting. So that's supposed to fit there. Got a picture of the front. Let me make sure that something didn't change on accident. One, two, three. <gasps> ah, something did change. Okay, that's easily fixed. For some reason, my count for the blocks is off. 
I must have uh, redesigned that. I forgot to take a, an updated picture of it being one more out. Whoops. And I managed to get between everything like that. Okay. So now... That's in the wrong spot too, but... Okay. Now, we should be able to get this there. There we go. Okay. See what I mean, guys? Very complicated build. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get this stuff in here, too, while we're at it. Uh, not really wanting to do this now, but... I just want to get some progress done. There we go. Get that nice, nice looking front end. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. We need two of those thrusters over here. Like I said, guys, very complicated build. Not where I was aiming at all. And if you're wondering why I'm doing the thrust thrusters reverse, this is to help with the I guess in a way, uh, like counter steer for this thing. So, okay. Still do need to put those on. All right. So we need one more set of rudders right here. There we go. And. Underneath again. There we go. All right. Go ahead and get this bottom part in here. Now we need the light cubes again. Kind of reverse engineering this thing. <laughs> it is very, very hard to re reproduce. Okay. Now if we get this. Now our placement will be correct for this. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Alright, and now get this one. There we go, and they're nice and connected now. All right, let's go ahead and get these light cubes again. And now we get to encase it. Yeah, let's do one side at a time, otherwise I'll confuse myself again. And now we need these lovely corner pieces, which help pull off this cool effect right here. This is just to give it a little protection and a little bit of style. Because you know I'm all about the style, guys. There we go. Look at that. Does that not look nice? In case. Oh, almost forgot about you. There we go. Look at that. Now we're going to reproduce that over here. All right.
And then a light cube. And another light cube. And get this incline. There we go. I like it. That's nice. Oh, such a beauty. Oh, I forgot to do the top part. There we go. Alright, now to get these nice corner pieces in here again. Boom. Boom. And yeah, we're good on that side. So everything else should be triangle corners now. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Perfect placement. All right. Now with that, we've got that nice and sealed, and we got some good protection on it. Uh, I think the only thing left is completing the scorpion tail with the rest of the guns. So let us figure out how we did that. <laughs> First off, let's get the rest of the spikes on here. And that'll help us determine where to do what I did. Oh wait, not quite far enough over. Right. So, get that, that. Uh, one, two, three. Three, and there's one, two, and there's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Alright. And then in the back, we've got one there. Caddy corner, one, two. All right, let's go ahead and get the support in there now. Uh, where are you? There we go. We're gonna get this cross strip right there. Take off mirror mode for a second because it does not like that <laughs> for some reason. Not sure why, but this this don't really get along whenever I do that. So, and then we have. The arcs. I don't remember if it was a short one. It was a short one. Now yeah, we want mirror mode back on. There we go. That'll help us with placement. And we also had a diagonal in there. Or two shorts, sorry. Right behind this one. Okay. Two short rods. Bam. Okay. Now we should be able to reproduce this tail, hopefully. Now we wanted to pull off the same tricks again, so I think what I did was I did this. There we go. And then I think triangle pieces fit in there. Then I did a 
that number right there, it looks like. And then I had a triangle piece above. Now let's get our quarters in there. See what I mean? This is a complicated build, guys. Alright. There we go. Now how many did I do that? Still looks like it's off by one, but no, no. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we put bar on. All right, the end piece here needs to be. I think I went one too far for her. I don't know. Yeah, that connected up nicely. Okay, yeah, so that's that's correct. That's correct. So was it just like that? And then I did a corner piece like so. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Okay. And then we, oh yeah, we just did this number. Okay. There we go. All right. Should make a real square. Yep, that's correct. Alrighty, guys. Now let me get these struts on here. Alright, we had a 2D diagonal here. Uh oh. Hmm. Something is off, isn't it? Let me see if I can count this. One, two, three. So, I'm actually supposed to be here with this? Interesting. How did I connect this then? <coughs> I gotta reproduce this exactly or it's not gonna work. Sorry guys. Uh, you again. I know. I needed. Yeah, I needed the triangle piece. Okay. And then now I need. It's so hard to see. Okay. So one, two, three, and then oh, so this is all off. Okay, so one, two, three, there we go. Now this should be uh, the other design that we were going for. Okay, this should be the this piece. There we go. Slowly but surely getting it, guys. Something still seems off because that should not be there. You know what, guys? Uh, I hate to do this, but I'm going to go into the other build real quick and check out and see what is different here. So one, two, three, and then we go down. One, two. Oh, 
I started doing the corner pieces there. That's why. The corner in a corner down. Okay. Yes. One. Let me just take pictures of this. That way, we can get this right real quick. Sorry, guys. I normally don't do that, but. Now I need to see underneath. Let me recount this and make sure that I I did this right. The math right on how long this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen, seventeen. Yep. Why was this off then? I didn't extend this out either, did I? Huh. I'm getting my math wrong here. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Two, three, four, and five. All right. Let's go back to the one we're actually working on. Edit. Now let's look at the front here. Where are we? Okay. One, two, three, four. No, that's correct now. Okay. I must I really must have been off with my design earlier. Alright. Okay. So we got This is not that. This is this. And this was that too, and that's why that looks. Oh no. Did I forget to pick a light one? There we go. And now we can do that properly. I think this one. Did I do it like that? Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure how I did this right here, but maybe I did one of these. Let's see. Yeah, that looks correct. And then I do one of these here. Now the question is... You know, if we look at the front, see how many of these I did. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I did another one. Four. And this one is. Did I accidentally do bat wings here? No. It's this. It's these. Is my placement off? Maybe I put them one forward and I didn't realize I did that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, all my pictures are far apart. Let me see here. This video is turning into a mess, isn't it? No, it's right before that. Yeah, so that is correct. Hmm. One, two, 
two, three. Yep, one, two, three. So that can't be wider than what it is already. But this is also getting pushed back a little further. So let's see where the. Oh, I bet you this was a 3D diagonal, not a 2D like I was thinking originally. I bet you that's what it is. I just. BPD, you know. Alright, so let's get that in there now. Uh, we need that one, and then we can finally get what? That's the proper way. Alright, and then we needed look like this one like that all right and then this one below goes like so and yeah there it is all right Hmm, for some reason that's not working now. I have to put it on the higher one. This was going on the lower one. Maybe this did get pushed back further than I was supposed to. One, two, three, three, four, and then there's a. Hold up, there's a block there. The picture I just. No, let's look at the picture I just took. Otherwise, we'll confuse ourselves again. So there's a Oh, because if it goes even further back, it's not going to reach. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I did this longer or something. I'm not sure what I did. But, uh, yeah. I... I did something different. It'll still work right there, though. And then, as soon as I... Let me look at the previous picture. Good angle for the yeah okay so we just need some bars up I think that's good and now Yeah, something is off because if yeah if it doesn't go down here then it's not going to work right hmm we need the 3d one again is it 3d or 2d maybe it's the 2d one no it has to be the 3d because of the way well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it likes that one better. Movement. Better. Nope, does not like that one at all. Okay. Now, if we undo this, go in one more with all this, and then do this setup, maybe it'll work. There we 
we go. Let me try that real quick. Oh man, guys, I'm so sorry. This is this build is something else, man. This is really taking it out of me. All right. Wrong way. Again, we just need to do this one this way. There we go. And I think that's correct now. Not as pretty as it once was, but I think I did it. I don't know why that was so hard to figure out, but let's test this again. There we go. And then this one goes up. First, those. Still too close, huh? Maybe it was just diagonally up. I'm gonna figure out which direction these were. And I can't get this one right. <laughs> That's why. I cannot believe I didn't. Remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. So this is correct. This is incorrect. Did I go eagle forward or the same direction up? It looks like I went the same direction up. Actually, that's supposed to be forward, isn't it? Yeah, for some reason, this is not working the way I wanted it to. I don't know what happened, but I'm off with something. It's supposed to be this way. And then it just went up like that, and then that's why this one works where it does, because they don't collide. Alright. Get our movement back, because it should fit there now. I guess it was sitting off one. It doesn't look like it in my picture though, so, hmm, I don't know, it's interesting to me. I don't know what's so different about this one. I guess I made it extra long, I don't know why else it won't work. You know what? I think I see it now, why it won't work. I am really sorry about this, guys. There it is. That is the whole reason why it wouldn't work. I need to shorten this thing. I leave those alone. This one just needs to be a solid block. And 
this one needs to be this one. But like so. And then we just do this one like this I think that's correct now what I think I can do is do this and that'll look somewhat better there all right I'm really sorry about this guys, but hmm. still not right, is it? I think I just forgot to put a triangle piece there, but for the most part, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Looks like this is supposed to be forward one, but that's the correct number of spikes on there, so unless this is supposed to be thicker, but I don't know. At this point, I really want to get this thing to work for you guys, so. Three D, there you are. There it is. There it is. The only other thing I could think of to do would be do that. And then we can do this. And then go down here and just do a triangle piece there. And that connects the two. Alrighty guys. This is one of the more complicated builds I've ever done. Now that looks correct to me, finally. Yep. Looks complete, done, correct. Let's add on the weapons and we're done. Now if the weapons don't fit, that means we added on a extra cube somewhere. Oh my goodness, this thing is bigger than it's supposed to be. How much are these, 30? Where did I add on extra cubes? Okay, we can't even add on one. I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. I'm really not sure at all. But you know what? That's pretty much the general build of it. I'm just going to cut my losses on this. Because we, we basically recreated it. For some reason, this one is slightly different. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So weird that it's doing that. But yeah. Something slightly different about this other one, but let's just change the name on this one. This one's going to be named.
just to type broke on this one so we don't accidentally select that one. Alright, let's go ahead and go in here and edit the colors, guys. So, as you can see, pretty much identical. Still not sure where I messed up in recreating the other design. If you guys caught it and see it, let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea what I did wrong. Oh, uh, I started off with those cubes, triangles, those cubes again, and that was it. So I did way too many. I added like a couple of these too many. So let's see, this is the way the struts were supposed to connect in. I did this triangle piece out just to kind of give that a little protection. And oh yeah, so this connected in right there where it comes down. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So not really sure what happened, but. Yeah. Oh well. Let's just color it. So we're gonna go with black mainly. Black and green. We gotta find the right green though. We gotta find a bright green. Let's see what that looks like. Nope. Not the right green at all. Still not. Closer. Are that the only greens we have? Hmm. I guess that green is the closest. The yellow doesn't look too bad. Let me get, get away with the yellow. Nah, I'd rather do a green. Now, unfortunately, I think it's the normal green that's gonna match up the best. Yeah, it'll be somewhat close to the uh, color. There we go. Oh no, I wasn't. Uh, didn't have mirror mode on. <laughs> Don't make that mistake, guys. Mirror mode is your best friend. Alrighty. Don't recall if there's thrusters under here, too. Nope, I had to get rid of those. Alright. Well, sorry I couldn't 100% recreate that. That's totally my bad. How am I missing this stuff that... Oh, yeah, yeah. I oh, know. That's, that's correct. Is it? No, it's not. There we go. Yeah, it is. go. Alrighty. Looks good. I guess it only changes the, uh, no, that'll make those easier targets. I'd rather keep those black. There we go. There we go. Now, do we want to do these red? So, like, they're blood on their teeth? Yeah, I like that. 
Yep, I still don't know what I did wrong, guys. One, two, and then... Yeah, it only comes out once, so... Somewhere it went screwy. Or this wasn't supposed to let me place it like that, but it let me get away with it for some reason. I don't know. I'll go back and look at the footage later, because I don't want to, you know, mess you guys up or whatever. So I, I had switched this like that. And then I did a triangle piece there, and a triangle piece there. Okay. So I see how that's attached now. That's probably where I messed up, is right there where it attaches. Okay. But yeah, I think that is it for it. Now let me show you why this took so long and why I had to plan it out. Unfortunately, on this design, we did not get any happy little shields. See? We can fly. Help us get to tall places quicker. Come on. Trying to still get the hang of how this works because mine doesn't work nearly as good as the original that I saw but I'm also not that good at flying so and then now that I learned about the whole aiming thing we can uh, ensure that we uh, Don't uh, miss our shots now. And I think the wings also make us a little quicker too, so. Alrighty guys. Sorry, it sounds a little bit louder than normal probably because uh, I had to tweak my sound settings again because Windows messed up whenever it did an update, so. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I really feel bad for not being able to recreate that, but that was so hard to do. Oh. Not my finest hour in creating that, but you know. So basically it was a it was a box, a triangle, and then a box, and then I did it. I didn't even do it on the first one, I did it on the second one. So the placement's probably correct of where the rod is, I just need to change this out and it'll be less cubes. So interesting. One, two, three, and then it just goes down two. Yeah. So let's go ahead and I never even tested this in a match. So let's go ahead and test it against some AI players real quick. See how well it does, now that I have it correct. Now since this is only three thick and it's light cubes, legendary railguns are probably gonna just tear me apart. Also, regular railguns and probably plasmas. Kill the, enemy the first team to reach the target total wins. The battle for Tyhonium Canyon has begun. an air unit. Okay, so I've got him. Oh my goodness, spider steak. How do you 
can't get away with shooting your anti-air in the air. Or did they change that about that weapon? Oh no! They got us. Darn. But yeah, liking this design. You're not supposed to be in the thick of the action, but if the action comes to you, well, that's what uh, the old shield is for. So this thing is a huge success. <laughs> Again, guys, apologies for not being able to reproduce it, but you saw I pretty much got the general shape, but I just needed to look at it. Sometimes with my more complicated builds, I have to practice it and see if I can get it the way I'm supposed to. But that's the most complicated build I've ever done. So, uh, who was it that I, I want to give a shout out to the YouTuber I saw this video from, so let me look that up real quick. Uh, Table and Chumps, uh, he was, he's an awesome... Robocraft player. Uh, I'm not sure if he plays it anymore, but you know, this was a design that he did like two years ago or something like that. So yeah, uh, he did only like five legs. So I made my design way bigger with eight. I think he only had three three wings to make his work. But this is also before the introduction of blocks and the new physics. So. Uh, probably his robot wouldn't work anymore. He'd have to modify it like I had to do. So, but yeah, um, I don't remember. I think he did rails too, but I just wanted to do my own variation of the rails because they work so well. So I just wanted to get, get a robot that had rails. So, so yeah. That's uh, all the time I have for today. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Sorry this is an extra long episode, but can be helped. <laughs> and uh, Apologies again on not being able to recreate it 100%. But I had a working built one just in case, so. Alrighty, guys. Well, this is Mad Dog signing off. Uh, please join me as we howl at the moon as we leave. Arr, arr.